Today we will be reviewing the Twisby Echo White Fine. This pen and I have an interesting history. I originally purchased it in order to replace my previous budget pen, the Lamy Safari. Uh, after it was lost some time ago. To trivialize it, I have a love and hate relationship with this pen. Off the bat, my, infer my first impression when I opened it up was, wow, that is some nice packaging. Compared to other, you know, budget pens. By the way, this pen only cost $29. Get that in your head. Some found pens go for over $100, so this is pretty big, especially for a college student. $29 for this pen, and the packaging includes a lot. Now compare that to something like the Lamy Safari, which pretty much includes the pen and a cartridge for it, a sample cartridge. So it's like a um, few uses and then you're done with the cartridge. And then you have to purchase your own ink or purchase a converter, which comes separately from that. But let's stay on track, we're talking about the Echo. Now the Echo is an interesting case because it has all these extra trinkets, so you think, wow, they really care about you and stuff, and, and you say, wow, this is really a pen where I can get behind. However, you have to wonder if they included all of this packaging and extra trinkets in order to make up for the downfalls of the pen. The weight of the pen is relatively light due to its mostly plastic components. The only metal on the pen really is the nib and the two plastic parts on the cap, which don't really contribute much to the weight. Now, this is my first piston mechanism converter, however, I don't think my naivety is the reason why I had trouble with it. Piston converters, while nice, are extremely messy, forcing you to enter the nib into the ink and then using the back end of the pen to move it down and then bring it up, bring up the ink into the pen. This already sounds messy, I can't even, I can't even explain it in a not messy way. When you do this, the nib of the pen is covered with ink and sometimes the bottom part where you hold the pen is covered in ink. So you have to wipe everything off, make sure that the nib isn't too wet and not leaking. And then after all of this is done, you have to make sure that you get everything back in its proper place. Cleanliness overall is a massive drop off for the Echo. This pen will leak everywhere. It's not a question of, maybe it won't, maybe if I do this a certain way it may, it may not leak. This pen is definitely going to leak, and that's my biggest problem with it. It's a very messy pen. At times, you will remove your cap to find that the inside of it is filled with ink, leading to you getting ink all over your hands as well. Because when the pen is posted, the cap goes onto the back, and then you take the cap off, to, um, put it back on the top to cover your nib, and then you're holding your pen, right? The ink from the back of your pen comes from the cap. So now you have ink all over your pen. The pen is white, so it's gonna show that it is just not a good time. With all this said and done, however, how does this pen write and feel? The echo can vary from gliding across quality paper to struggling to write on lower quality paper. Skipping is not really much of an issue because of 
the pen, the nib of the pen always being wet with ink, so you won't have any problems there. You can see from my handwriting that, from my poor handwriting, you can see that I really had no major issues with using the pen for this. Now, how the pen feels. It's, you know, hard plastic, so of course it's not going to feel great in your hands. However, the way that the part that you hold it definitely isn't natural. It's just very round. It's um, pretty much a perfect cylinder, slightly inclined towards the nib of the pen. And um, it takes a little getting used to, and if you're riding with it for a long time, you may feel some discomfort in your hand. So, overall, I'll give that a meh. It's not great. A little force is needed in order to write, which is pretty good and almost makes up for the pen's messiness. Almost though. Overall, I'd say that I really do like the pen and it writes quite well. Uh, I don't know. I really don't. If they could fix how messy the pen gets and maybe make it a little prettier, it's quite ugly now. I could see myself using this as my primary pen for lecture notes and other things and just to bring around. It's only $29 so I don't have to be actually protective of it. $29 is still quite a lot for a pen, but you know, in retrospect and to compare it with other fountain pens, that would be not that bad. Overall, I like the pen. Please leave a like if you could, if you liked the video, share it with a friend, and of course, have a great day.